administrator is responsible for the, you know, the country's health system and works together with the various components of that health system, the HSA, the private sector and so on, and the health insurance companies as well, to, to guard against um, issues like chronic diseases and to implement strategies which will reduce those uh, chronic diseases, but more importantly, to make our country uh, much more healthier, a healthier and, and better nation. By, by guarding against chronic diseases as well as implementing other uh, initiatives to improve health throughout the country. So chronic diseases being, as I said, one of the leading causes of death is obviously high on the priority for the Ministry of Health in terms of uh, finding solutions, finding um, ways to cure, not, not to cure, but to prevent chronic diseases. Well, I'm hoping that um, if we know where the problems are, we can direct whatever um, resources we have to prevent them. Also, we can, um, uh, we can identify persons who are at risk to, for getting these illnesses and encourage them to do something about it. The data collection for the Health Risk Factor Survey started on May 14th this year. 50 interviewers going out into the fields. They are working in teams of two. We have selected over 2,100 households randomly selected to participate in this survey. The two data collectors would come to your household and they would ask for information on the persons in that household that are within the age of 25 to 64. The interviewer will not select that person. That person will be randomly selected to participate in the survey. The survey includes three steps. The two data collectors that will come to your house would only do steps one and two. Step one is basic information about your lifestyle. That would be covered in step one. Step two then includes some basic measurements. You would be asked to step on a scale so we can get your weight. We will also measure your height and your waist circumference and take your blood pressure four measures. At the end of the measurement, the results will be given to you. If you are one of those that have been selected to participate in step three, that involves taking a little sample of blood from your fingertip. Where, um, and, but that will not be done at your household. You will be required to go to the clinic to do that, the one in your respective area. So you will get fasting instructions and you will get an appointment to go to the clinic where after fasting for 12 hours, you go to the clinic and a small sample of your blood will be taken from your fingertip where we can read your glucose level and your cholesterol level. I'm sure that some people, um, when they're approached to participate, might be reluctant. Um, I know that uh, I wouldn't necessarily want to get on the scale in front of anybody else or have my uh, waist circumference done, but everybody needs to know that the data will be absolutely confidential. All the information will be held in strictest confidence, and it's really just information for yourself to know that it is your, know your numbers, as well as being amalgamated into the report. Well, it's important for the country to get a foundation of the statistics uh, so that they can work towards putting the right programs in place to reduce the level of uh, utilization that occurs from people that have um, non-communicable diseases. Uh, it's important to help control the cost of health care both now and in the future. And a lot of this is not ne necessarily meant for today's um, work, but for our kids and what the, they're going to have to potentially face in the future. It's very important for us from a national perspective as well as from an, a company perspective that uh, risk factors are not only identified but uh, documented in a manner from a very um, objective perspective. Cayman Foods is extremely happy to support the government with this survey. Not only would it be beneficial to our clients but to the people of the islands as a whole. As an insurance company, the data derived from this survey will be very important to us in terms of underwriting, our wellness programs, and cost containment measures, which would definitely assist in working towards reducing premiums. So this is an opportunity for people to, to get involved with helping to improve the nation's health care and our health care policies by helping us get that baseline data. We need to know what it is that we need to target in order to, to make sure that people have a healthier and a happier life and improve their health and well-being.